Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brett Madigan from Bega Games and welcome to my review of the Sawara FX Mechanical Gaming Keyboard from Rockat. Will this product stand out from the rest of the mechanical keyboard market? Let's find out. My experience with mechanical keyboards isn't extensive. I've used the Razer Black Widow Cherry MX Blue Switch keyboard before RGB was a thing and my daily driver, the Gigabyte Avia Osmium Cherry MX Red keyboard. So I'm going into this review with high hopes that Rocket can provide a decent quality keyboard when compared to my current, which decides to break when I press more than six keys at a time. In order to provide a reasonable comparison, I need to dive into the software for the Suara FX keyboard. The Rocket software is called Swarm and features a vast amount of customizable options for the user to play around with. Now, let's start going through them, shall we? The user has two choices for navigating the Suara FX features within the software either using the pin icon, which displays all options the keyboard supports, or by clicking the settings, key assignment, and key illumination tabs. Personally, I prefer using the pin icon simply because everything is in one place and it's easier to access. But for the purpose of this video, let's go through each of these tabs. So the first options you'll see under the settings tab are sound feedback, character repeat, key reaction time, and reset settings. Self-explanatory, really. Though repeat rate or repeat delay sound a little bit like key reaction time to me, so I'm not too sure what I'm missing here. Is, is it just the wording sounds similar? I, I don't know. Next we have macros under the key assignment tab, which, if you're into that sort of thing, allows you to make custom keybinds to the 6M keys located above the arrow keys. The keyboard also allows the user to reprogram every key under game mode. I don't typically use macros, but it's a neat feature nonetheless. Under Key Illumination, there are 11 beautiful color presets to choose from. Just to name a few, there are Breathe, Wave, Snake, Rain, and Radar Effects. The rest are listed on screen. <laughs> Being a sucker for simplified use, I typically just choose the fully lit option, and I know, how basic of me. But honestly, I don't think the other effects are helpful to the eyes when sitting in a dark room. Just saying. Okay, software out the way, let's get into the actual hardware section of this review. The Suara FX features include the size at 12.5 centimeters or 4.9 inches by 43 centimeters or 16.9 inches, a braided cable, cable management grooves, rubber feet, Cherry MX Blue switches, RGB backlit keys, six out of the way macro keys, 16 hotkey profiles, the top row of keys, frameless design, and solid build. Sitting this keyboard alongside my Osmium, I was pleasantly surprised by how much smaller it was in comparison. Now keep in mind that I've only used bulky bricks in the past, so it's not a bad thing at all. Honestly, I actually prefer smaller keyboards over large bulky bricks, as I can fit about two of these things on my Razer mouse mat. I can also fit my Blue Yeti microphone without having the keyboard high up. So points for usability. The build quality was rather impressive for such a small keyboard. Nice and sturdy housing. I'm not really too sure what to say here. Do I try a bend test? A drawback for me though was the lack of a USB pass through, seeing as I use this on my daily driver every day. So that had to be removed and having to use another USB port on the case. So a little annoying, but you know, nothing to stop me from using the keyboard. Something that I do miss that isn't on the Suara FX keyboard as well as many other keyboards for that matter is a physical scroll wheel for brightness and sound. Never realized how much I actually used that feature until I got this keyboard. In conclusion, the Rocket Suara FX keyboard is a very pretty looking slim keyboard with the added benefit of RGB backlights. For some, that may seem like yesterday's news, but it was a feature I now couldn't live without. I literally left the keys as a solid blue color because I didn't want to feel weird once I had to send the product back. I don't know, man. Going back to solid blue after I can actually change it to like a light blue or green or even red. Can't do it, man. Can't do it. Were there any actual issues with the keyboard itself? Honestly, I can only think of about three of them besides the USB password thing. And they are dust buildup, no included armrest, and this model only supporting Cherry MX Blue switches. Obviously, it comes down to which Cherry MX switch you prefer. It's not really a huge deal, but I would love to see going forward, Rocket provide something like red or brown to the Sawara FX range, simply because I, I just dislike the clicking noise. It does get really annoying, but that's just me. What do you guys think? Trying to update the Rocket Swarm app 
is rather weird because not only does it finish downloading the update, but instead of triggering the install button, it still displays a download button. So in order to fix that, or my current workaround, is to uninstall the software, then reinstall it, then re-download that update, and then it triggers the install button. So I'm not too sure why this is still a thing, but it's been an issue for over three or four months now, so I'm not too sure why this hasn't been fixed yet. I'm pretty sure this was an older bug, but please was spelt incorrectly when installing the Swara FX firmware. It was spelt P-L-E-S-A-E. -E. Several information icons display an unfinished message, such as comment or whatever the box is talking about, comment. Fade effects profile still doesn't work after patch. Ripple effect doesn't work sometimes when switching preset. FAQ doesn't display any information about the Swara FX keyboard. Patch notes for the software state minor bug fix or bug fixes. Please elaborate on what those bug fixes were or what the bug was. I like reading that stuff when it comes to bug fixes. Once the software bugs get fixed, I can without a doubt recommend this keyboard to anyone. But personally, I would love to see Rocket adopt either red or brown key switches for the Swara FX range. <sighs> but who knows? If you want to check out the full written review, go over to bagogames.com. My name is Brett Madigan and I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys next time.